So recently we've added module support to the Esprino board. This allows you to load pre-made libraries of code from places like the SD card. And I'm going to show you an example of that. I've wired up a LCD here, which is a Nokia 5110 LCD, which you can get at eBay for about uh, £4. And um, then there's a DS18B20 temperature sensor, which is available for similar amounts of money. Um, it's an entirely digital temperature sensor, so it's nice and easy to wire up. So um, I'm going to show you how you can go about using these. Uh, for starters, we can get the temperature sensor. We can just say require the name of the sensor. And then give it the name of the pin that it's attached to. And uh, obviously saying get temp will we'll get the temperature. Um, there's, there's a bit of movement in it, um, but, but generally it's pretty accurate. So now we can do a similar thing and we can get at the graphics LCD. Um, so if I say uh, create a variable called G and then pull in the graphics driver, And now um, we can issue commands. We can say clear. We can say draw a string. And finally, we say flip to copy it to the screen. Now, um, the obvious thing to do would be to make a uh, temperature display with this, which is quite easy to do. So we'll make a function that we want to call maybe every few seconds, which will get the current temperature and update the LCD with it. So we get the current temperature, um, and then we convert it to a string, and then because we don't want all the decimal places on it, we can uh, quite happily just, just clip it down. And now we'll write to the graphics LCD. So we'll clear it, and we um, we'll set it to a vector font because these are easily resizable. Um, and we set it to twenty for now. And then uh, flip it, which will copy the data. Actually, we've got the. Spelling was a bit wrong there. So if we call on timer now, it'll update it with the temperature. And that text is a bit small, so we can just go in there, we can change the font size, and close again. Um, now it's dead easy to do things like um, making a, a history graph on there. And for this, I'll actually just, just copy and paste some code in. Um, so we can create a new array. There are 84 pixels in the LCD screen uh, width ways. So we'll have one history element per pixel. Um, we'll go back up to where we find the timer. And we'll um, make sure that we put new data in the history for every temperature sample that we get. And um, we'll make sure that we draw a graph with it. And now if we call it, initially you won't see very much, but if you call it more often you'll start to see the graph appearing. Now, obviously, we're not going to wait for that to, um, to update, so we can just fill it with data. And 
and then we'll close again and you've got a bit of information there um, obviously that's going into the wrong place so you can just go up here and you can change the ranges um, and do it again and um, finally to, to keep this updating we just say set interval on timer every second say um, and now it's updating we can just unplug the computer and um, it'll keep working as long as we've got a battery.